Me and Haley are going to Salem, Massachusetts today. So she's in 7-Eleven right now pulling out some cash. We have to stop for gas, but then we will be on the road. This will be my second time in Salem. The first time I never vlogged it, I was with my boyfriend. We just enjoyed ourselves. We're probably not gonna get there until like seven o'clock at night. So all the like historic Salem things are gonna be closed, but we have some things to do once we get there anyway. We need like shampoo and pillows and shit. So as she's walking back, we're gonna be on the road. I'll touch base with you later. Haley and I have made it to Salem. It took us about eight hours to get here. And I just wanna, the room is really adorable. So I wanna give a quick uh, little room tour. Kitty, there's a kitty here. We just got our stuff all over the bed, but like you get the general idea. And everything is just so cute. And there's a cat named Fredo. And. Yeah, because it's so fancy. It just opens on its own. Got a fancy sink, and this. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so Haley and I just got back from Walmart. We grabbed a couple of snacks and a couple of like drinks to hold us over since we're probably gonna wake up in the middle of the night wanting food. Um, but it's 10 o'clock at night. There's nothing for us to really go do. So today was just traveling here since it took us so long. But tomorrow we're gonna wake up, we're gonna have breakfast, we're gonna get ready, we're gonna do things. So I'm gonna go take my makeup off now and we're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna sleep. I'm, I'm, ready, sleep. I'm ready to sleep. Haley fell asleep for like 10 minutes in the car and she's just been ready to sleep since then. Walmart's exhausting. That Walmart was kind of exhausting because it's not a super Walmart and it kind of offended me. And you suck and I left my camera in our room. But we are finally ready and we got cute as shit because we're gonna go over to Witch Picks and get pictures done. First and foremost, which I think is over here if I remember properly. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. But we look really cute at least. Extra as shit, but cute. And then after we get the pictures, I guess we'll either walk around and shop for a bit or meet up with her friend Ruth. take pictures inside so we just did the witch picks we got them right here um, we bought like two prints each and got a USB full of all the pictures so I can like color correct and stuff and just like post them whenever the fuck I want um, and now we're gonna go meet up with Haley's friend and her husband at this cafe which is apparently a really expensive cafe but I'm kind of hungry so I guess they have like three dollar macarons, but I have half the nerve to try it. And it's starting to get a little bit windier, but it's still really nice. Much nicer than when I was here with Richie because it was raining majority of the time. And now it's like not quite 60 degrees, but in the 50s and it's really nice. Looking at Instagram now. <laughs> this is video. Um, <laughs> this is the cutest fucking day. So we're at this antique shop right now, right? And uh, I stepped outside for a second just kind of like vape, and I just realized we are right next to the witch house and I'm hoping that we're gonna have time probably not tonight but tomorrow to go in and kind of see the exhibits and stuff and 
take pictures next to it because it's super fucking cool. Okay. Cute little photo. I wouldn't trust his photo skills. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> Lobster biscuit and Haley has clam chowder. And so we asked for sugar and Tabasco for her to put in the clam chowder because that's the thing we do. And they go, What the fuck are you, Southern? Like, how Southern are you? Who raised you? And I, I didn't know that that was a Southern thing, but we both do it. <laughs> You're just putting those fucking oyster crackers in your soup. Tabasco. There's that sugar and that Tabasco. Fuck me up, to be honest. Oh, you miss. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's. He that needs more Christ. sauce. More sauce. Everything always needs more sauce. We just finished eating. We're gonna go back to the room. I don't know if we're gonna end up going back out again tonight. We were told about like these two places that have live music, and I have hair stuck in my eyelash. Um, I was gonna help you, but no we already fixed it. And we're both really sleepy, especially after eating everything we just ate. It was fucking delicious, but um, we were really popular in this restaurant. Fucking the heat doesn't work yet, and it's still gonna be cold. Watch. No, there's heat coming out. <laughs> it's not super warm. <sighs> but anyway, we were like really popular. So we were being served by this like older man who was really really fucking nice and nice to talk to and then there was this younger guy <laughs> that like came over and like on a couple different occasions obviously wanted to try to talk to us and then he finally said something. He said like sorry you have to, you have to deal, with, deal with him the whole yeah. time <laughs> or something like that. Um, but took an actual glance. Down. Took an actual glance like, down oh, both like, of our like, dresses oh, oh, first. Okay. Like, look, <laughs> and then one. said something to us. And then I guess while I was in the bathroom, this other guy that works there that isn't, okay, so the guy that looked down our shirts was more like probably our age-ish, um, maybe a little older. Then this other guy was probably more like- He was bald. He was bald, but he was probably more like middle age instead of like old. 30s. Um, and while I was in the bathroom, what happened? He came up and he wanted to talk to me, but the older guy wouldn't give him permission to. Yeah, so he said he was, he was grounded. grounded. But then um, that same guy like walked by and saw the older guy talking to us again. He said something about like, not being fair, you can talk to them, but you don't let me, I was grounded, or something like that. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. And the whole time, all three of these guys in some way, shape, or form just like, either talking to us or indicating that they want to talk to us and we just felt really popular. I'm just trying to eat my fucking crunch. Right? <laughs> it was that everybody here is so fucking nice though. So anyway, we're gonna go back to the room. I'll show you the things that we got today. Ooh, um, it's like a mini haul. A little mini haul. A little mini haul. And then I think we're gonna take the time to kind of like write out what we want to do since we technically only have two more days here. We want to make sure we get like... Yeah, and one of the days I'm getting a tattoo. Yeah, and one of the days she's getting a tattoo, so... Cutting it close. We might only like... Yeah. We gotta really we figure gotta out what's the most important tomorrow. tomorrow. So, we'll see you back at the room. <laughs> we have to clean up before getting ready for bed or I guess figuring out if we're gonna do anything else for the night. Mm -hmm. But I do want to show the stuff that we got. Haley's in the bathroom right now, so maybe while I'm like showing what I got, she'll come in and be able to show what she got. So I'm gonna set y'all down right there. First, I got this shirt for my dad because we're gonna be coming back on his birthday. Basketball gym shorts for Richie, even though he already has these, but he really likes them, so I wanted a second pair. I got these two magnets. Oh, they're stuck together. These two magnets for my friend Scott. 
He said his mom collects magnets and I thought these two were really, really cool. Come on, focus. I got this shot glass for my younger brother because he's old enough to drink. Oh, and like I said, we went to Witch Picks and got our pictures taken. So I have the USB with all the all the pictures on them. And I got two prints. Got that. And whoop, that. Basically, if you want to see them better or if you want to see more of the pictures, then you can see them either on my Instagram or on my Twitter. Links below. This I am excited about because I'm a candle hoe. This is from Witch City Wix. It's spicy vanilla. It smells really, really good. I fucking love vanilla scents and I got one for my mom too. We went to Emporium 32, which I realized I followed on Instagram and didn't realize it at the time, but I got this pin, which I'm in love with. And then my favorite item of the day, and I think the most expensive one. Oof. Which way's up and which way's down? Okay. This, how I show you? This shawl, which is done by an artist. And it's definitely like one of my favorite things I've bought. Hello. Do you want to show the things that you got? Can, I, can you show them lying down? Yes, you can show them laying down. So this is what Ruth got me. Ruth is my pen pal. Did you did you record them? Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't explain that that's who she was though. Did you get your friend Ruth? She's my pen pal. She's been my pen pal for maybe over a year. And I just met her today for the first time. And her husband. I think that's her husband. She got me a Victorian boot. Very, very chic. Very beautiful. Very shiny let me see there we go and then, she also got you this yes i'm a little terrified but excited yes I'm gonna and this is up. actually where is it at it says salem it is from salem massachusetts so that's good because like i wanted something to repre represent salem massachusetts and i got this is a pretty lady yeah. So these were like those cards that you'd put on the, um, that you'd hold it out and it'd be like a 3D, like a wooden base, and you'd look through it and it would come out at you. Mm hmm. I can't remember the name of the, um, device, but I'm on the hunt for one. This is a cool pin. And then this one smells like men. men yeah, like cologne. straight up men's cologne. It's delicious. What is it called? Green Man. Huh. Maybe. Yeah. Literally, it's a man. Oh wait, I, I, can't, I can't, I can't smell. Holy shit. This stuff is from Emporium 32. And they sell like a lot of pins and uh, hats. Oh, I got earrings too. Oh yeah. Wait, Let's see if I can get in on this. Show the cool side. Move your hair. What's this? Yeah, there we go. We got some scissor earrings. This I is, really like that hat. This is not my sweatshirt. Yeah, no, this that's mine earrings, from last time I was here. But I really wanted a hat. And I thought it looked good on her. And I got a hat. I feel like the ultimate tourist right now. And I got something for my stinky boyfriend. <laughs> Witch's brew. That is a really cool shirt though. Yeah. And boom. Hallmark. Hallmark. Just like, I'm wearing all of the Salem things right now. Sponsor. Sp sponsor me, Salem. It is Monday. Um, 
Today's the day where we kind of have to squeeze a lot of things in because tomorrow Haley is getting a tattoo and it's probably not going to take all day, but the girl that's doing it did say to plan for it to be an all day affair for whatever reason. So we just got ready. We're going to head out. We kind of have a list of things that we want to do and get done today. I'm not sure exactly what we plan on doing first, but as soon as we get in the car, I'm sure we'll figure it out. But there will definitely be a lot more things for me to show you today. Um, I have food on my camera. What is wrong with me? Literally. What is that? Yeah, I've got like apple on my camera. <laughs> You need that close up. A nose that neatly twitched. Clever, charming, and enchanting, Samantha left us all bewitched. Presented by the people of TV Land. Well, ain't that something? We are currently in the witch house where they have a lot of like. Beds were hung with linen or cotton curtains in the summer and wool curtains in the winter. Drapery kept out light, dust, and drafts. In the winter, drapes would keep heat in the bed. At the end of the canopy, bed, <laughs> is a trundle bed for young children. The trundle bed could be rolled underneath the big bed for daytime storage. The door next to the fireplace is very old, possibly original to the house. It leads to the hallway connecting with the children's room and contains a ladder to the attic. The attic was used as another bedroom for children and or servants. Can you make it safe? Yeah, we're gonna stay here with the witch one. Yeah. Yeah, we just got some. I like the gray too. A receipt for epilepsy. Take the brain of a young man that has died a violent death together with the arteries, membranes, veins, nerves, and pitch of the back. Oh, pith of the back. Bruise these in stone mortar until they become a kind of pap to which is added a spirit of wine. Okay. That's historical. Historical. That's historical. It feels weird in here. I know it does. I thought the same thing last time I was here. Like as soon as you walk in here, I got chills and 
It's like thick air. It hits me in the knees. Mm hmm They make things on this. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Why did Robert Gibbs look, look like a grown ass man at four and a half years old? Not all of them. I'm having a heart attack. This she is where I fall on my death. Frick. He's, he's kind of, uh, heck. Okay. Uh, this is not as bad. Independent. Eh. Eh. God, all these stairs are dangerous. Whew. Oh, yeah. I have to take back my things along the Walmart. Yeah. So we just did a little bit more shopping. We definitely spent some, you want some feathers? Oh feathers. <laughs> we definitely spent a lot of money. Neither of us have looked at our bank accounts this whole time we've been I don't here. Know. I really don't. Mm -hmm. And right now we're just walking to the um, witch trials memorial that they have in a graveyard, which is really, really pretty. Um, I think we're really close. It is. Catherine Andrews oh, lies alone. Trash. Makes me upset. You'd think people would be more respectful towards one of the oldest graveyards in the country. I think this is like the third, I might be pulling this out of my ass, but I actually think this is the third oldest cemetery in the country. Look at how different these gravestones are in comparison. To what we have now. Look at this one.
So we just got done at the House of Seven Gables. Um, my camera died while we were inside, so I'm back to using my phone. Now we are at Mercy Tavern. <laughs> we're at Mercy Tavern. Um, we are about to get some nachos. We haven't ordered quite yet, but we're fucking hungry. We've been eating in eight hours. Can we talk about this? Can we just... <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Okay, so I wanted to turn the camera on really quick to show what kind of goodies we got today because it's actually like getting close to quiet time in the house. So Haley is about to take a shower and then we're calling it a night because Haley has her tattoo tomorrow. So once again, I'm going to set you right there. And actually, this is one thing that I got today, this necklace. I got this wand, which is made out of birchwood, I think. And I got a rabbit pelt uh, from this witch shop, which is like, what's it called? It's like not immoral the way they make it. Responsibly sourced, I don't Responsibly sourced, morally sourced, <laughs> something like that. Um, and I figured it'll be good like in my display case to set things on top of. I got this witch for my mom because my mom also likes Halloween things and she likes witches and I thought it was kind of cute. I don't want to take it out, but I got this mug for my mom. And if you can see that, I got this mug for my dad. This is for Richie because he got a hat last time we were here and he really liked it. So he got another one. I got these two collectible things for my dad. It's this coin of the House of Seven Gables and then a Salem collectible spoon. This is one of my favorite things that I got. So this is from Aroma Sanctum Perfumes. And this is a scent Vanilla X, which is vanilla and musk. And then I got this like Egyptian perfume bottle. Let's focus on the bottle, please. Yeah. So now I have it in there and it's a like pure oil perfume. So you just kind of drip it on. I've always said that I don't fuck with Ouija boards um, for many a reason, but I saw this and literally had to get it. This was like a limited edition in the shop Emporium 32. Emporium 32. And I really couldn't not. I kept thinking about it, so I had to go back and get it. This is Haley's uh How do you pronounce it? Albalone. I thought it was Albalone. I say Albalone. Okay, according to Haley, it's Albalone shell. She can probably like put things in the. Let's focus, please. Not on me. Yeah, we put like rings or something. I got a lot. It's hard to see. Hers is also made out of birch wood. Hers is darker though. I got a print that it doesn't want to focus on because it's too busy looking at Tiffany's legs. Wow. I went to the same exact perfume store. There you go. The focus just for it to say tea blossom. Yeah. Amazing. It's supposed to smell like green tea. Um, green tea. Got little perfume bottle for it to go in. Pretty much just put it in there. And then it's got a little dabber and then you can just dab it and then rub it around on your skin. I got something that you can't see. It's a poster. Maybe I'll take a picture and have Tiffany insert a photo whenever she decides to edit this. But it's pretty much a poster on um, embalming fluid. So Haley is now taking a shower and we're calling it a night. And then tomorrow, Haley has her tattoo and I think we're going to look into doing a ghost tour at night, hopefully. Um, and then the day after, we're out of here. Unfortunately, I wish we had more time. It would be cool to go to Boston, but there's always next time. I'm hoping the day we leave, we like check out early and um, just kind of go to a few more shops and just pick up some last minute things. So yeah, we will see you in the morning.
and we heard you winding it, and it started to make like a, the weird slowed down noise, and I was like, oh no. Starting fresh with a charged battery. Um, so the whole tattoo thing didn't work out. That was a small situation, but that's okay. Cause now we have like another extra day to just kind of walk around Salem and explore. Um, I think we know for sure we want to go back to Emporium 32. Um, and the fragrance shop that we went to where we got the little Egyptian fragrances. Um, we both have our eyes on other ones that we want and I have my eye on another scarf from Eporium 32 so we're gonna do that for sure I think we're looking at a tour and we're just gonna figure everything else out as we go cuz this place is awesome to explore but it's also a vacation to relax can you tell I'm taking selfies you can kind of tell okay. but that's okay Shishtar <laughs> we love a selfie taking Shishtar Shishtar <laughs> Baby. Meow. Meow. You He's so come cute. Inside? Wanna come inside, Kate? Come on. Let's go. Come on, Pedro. Come on, baby. Come inside. Are you here for the fourth one? Before we get started, I've got to warn you that you might get scared. We've had people faint, we've had people scream, we've even had people pee their pants. It might be you, who knows? <laughs> we've spent years doing research in facilities like the Phillips Library over there, combing through the records people were keeping during the days of the witch trials. We were looking at the jail keepers' records, we were looking at the diaries people were writing as they were tortured in the dungeon. So tonight, when you hear about the witch trials, it's from the point of view of the people who suffered through it. This is the true history. And speaking of the uh, truth, take a look at the bell right here. They say it's the Paul Revere bell, made by the famous American patriot Paul Revere. Him and his sons were metalsmiths. They made this bell to celebrate the people from Salem who died fighting in the American Revolution. Or at least that's what they tell you. The truth is, Paul Revere never touched this bell. In fact, it's not even a bell. Listen what happens when you try to ring it. It's plastic, it's fake. What happened was when the real bell was put here, some of the local bums tried to steal it. They wanted to melt it down and get the metal from the bell. Thankfully, they were caught. The real bell was rescued. Now it's kept safe in the museum's archives. I like to point out this bell is fake because it goes to show you there's a lot of hidden history in Salem. Now these are the real tombstones. Uh, sometimes people see how close together they are and they assume it's because people were shorter a long time ago. That's a myth. People were about the same size we are today. The only reason they're so tight is because they were moved up to this plot from out back. Now if you look at the carvings on the stones, you'll see that some of them look creepy and morbid to our modern sensibilities. You'll see skull and crossbone imagery and sad weeping willows, things that represent death. Now our culture doesn't like to think about death, but the people who made these stones were obsessed with it. They were the Puritans. Does the name Giles Corey sound familiar? If you had to read the Crucible in school or if you went to the Someone museum today, they would have told you that Giles Corey was a hero. Someone who stood up for what he believed in during the oppression of the witch trials. Giles Corey was not a nice guy, but he was absolutely not a witch. So why was he accused? It's because there was a weird law that said if somebody, say you, accused that guy back there of witchcraft, if you were found guilty, you, because you made the accusation, you would get half of his money and property. The corrupt city government would get the rest. 
Giles Corey's rib cage shattered. People who saw it happen say he was so squashed, his organs crushed out from his sides. And as he lay there dying, the last words he was able to say were, damn you, Sheriff Corwin, I curse you and all of Salem. And with that, Giles Corey dropped dead. And the sheriff, he also died shortly thereafter too. He was only 36 years old and he had a sudden heart attack. Giles Corey was not a witch, but his curse came true. Every single sheriff in Salem since then, right up to the present day, has died young or been forced to retire with heart attacks or blood diseases. In fact, up until pretty recently, we've not had a sheriff for 12 years because no one wanted the position. But it's not just the sheriff who suffers. Anyone who sees Giles Corey pays the price. I hope you don't see him tonight. Just one or two of us see him as a personal tragedy. Season, it's something bad for the entire community. Bridget Bishop was seriously a bad neighbor. That did not make her a witch. However, calling her a witch was a good way to get rid of her. She was quickly accused. Now, Bridget Bishop was no stranger to the false accusations. She'd been called a witch when she lived in England. She was accused of bewitching her first husband to death. And the judge who got that case over in England was smarter than the judges in Salem. He dismissed it. He said, there's no such thing as witches, and the case was closed. But here in 1692, during the frenzy of the witch hysteria, the charges on Bridget Bishop stuck. The Puritans believed in spectral evidence. They felt that a witch could send their spirit out of their physical body to harm people in the real world, like an evil version of what we call astral projection. For example, there was elderly Rebecca Nurse. She was a bedridden old lady who never harmed anybody. She was accused of sending her spirit out of her body, sitting up in the rafters in church, then swooping down and biting people during the services. I bet she didn't really do that. That's why this innocent grandmother was hanged. She went to embrace him, and she got close. He took out a little pocket knife and slashed her throat from ear to ear. He cut and cut like he wanted to cut her head right off her shoulders. He then threw her down on the ground and held her close like he wanted to squeeze all the blood out of her body. Only when he was saturated in his girlfriend's blood did the man realize what he had done. He snapped out of his trance, sat down on the body, took out his phone and called the police. He admitted every detail of his terrible crime, but he said that while he had cut her throat, it wasn't his fault. He said something had possessed him and made him do it. And incredibly, a lot of people around here believed him because they know the history of that hill. Go. There are modern vampires among us. According to modern psychological theories, there's three types of these people. The first and the most common are called blood fetishists. That's exactly what it sounds like. People who get excited by the sight, the smell, or the taste of human blood. And even if you think that sounds gross, you don't have to worry about it. They only prey on consenting victims. So unless you like blood too, they're not going to be a problem. You don't have to worry about the blood fetishists. But it gets dangerous when you consider the imitation vampires. These people cannot separate fantasy from reality. We could go home tonight and watch something like True Blood or read a book like Interview with the Vampire. We'd know it's just entertainment. But the imitation vampires would see the same fiction media and they'd internalize it. They'd believe the stories. They'd think that if they drank your blood, they'd get powers like the fictional characters. It does not work. They're mentally ill. They want your blood anyway. But the most deadly are people called true vampires. True vampires suffer a psychological addiction to drinking human blood. I mean, for all I know, you might be a vampire. You look normal. I Maybe am. Maybe you. <laughs> we never suspect you. I don't think you're a vampire, but you might be. So I've decided that I want to end the Salem vlog tonight. Today. Tonight today. Was our last day slash night here in Salem. And we just finished the ghost tour, which was pretty cool. Um, and I want to show off the few things that we got today. We're going to bed. After this, we're going to take our makeup off, had to pack, get ready to leave. We're probably going to stop at like another shop tomorrow, but that's it. We're going to look like the majority of the adventures end here, unfortunately. Not excited for like our seven hour drive home from Salem to turn into 10 hours basically because of the inevitable New York traffic, but it is what it is. First things first, I got another of those shawls. I really couldn't help myself. I keep thinking about it 
and I wanted to get the white version of the dark one I have with the owl in the back, but then I saw this one, tried it on. I mean, Haley both agreed that I needed this one. I bought my boyfriend one more thing since the only two things I got him while I was here was the hat and the shorts, which he already like has. He just wanted a second one. So I got him this uh, commemorative edition of Necronomicon. He's really interested in that. So I figured this was pretty cool. Then my real big purchase today was all of these postcards. So I just wanna show them really quick. We found a lot of Halloween ones, which I guess we should have um, expected because it is Salem. I got this one and the one previously are just Salem postcards. Another Halloween one. I really like getting postcards with writing on them. This is a Salem one from the, what is this, Green Lawn Cemetery. And then more Halloween. And the uh, witch house when it was purchased by someone and they added a pharmacy to the end because apparently the witch house has been called the witch house for a very long time. I was looking up on it because when I saw that I was like, this looks nothing like the witch house that you see today. Apparently it's speculated that the guy that actually added that pharmacy on started calling it to wit the witch house to like bring more business to his store and everything. So that's the history behind that as far as I've read up anyway. Hi bitch, hi bitch, hi bitch, hi bitch. Fly horse. The only things that I got today were stuff from the antique store. Um, it's been quite a bit of money just because one thing was a little bit more than the other two things, but I ended up getting at least one Halloween postcard because I collect postcards and I usually focus on Valentine, um, Valentine's, um, Valentine's Day ones, but I don't have a Halloween one yet and I told myself I'd like to get one. So this one is 1910 and they're like pumpkin gourds with a cat that I've written on the back. And I really like that he had all of these like the date it says embossed, and then he has them in the nice sleeves to protect them. And then this is a ribbon I got. And I collect a lot of Oddfellow stuff, so this is kind of similar. It's like a, it's a fraternity. It says A-O-H. And it was like an Irish Catholic kind of deal. It's a Salem, Massachusetts. So I collect Victorian stuff. So anything from the 1800s. And this is from the 1800s, and this was quite a bit of money. But I really liked it because of the snake, mainly. So I'm not sure if this is an actual stone or if it's glass, but it's beautiful. That is the end of our Salem trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had fun when we were here. We're definitely gonna come back, and I definitely wanna come and stay at this place again specifically. It would be cool if even like next time, we could rent out both rooms. No. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, dislike if you want. I don't know, that's fucking rude. Love you.